Welcome to module three of medication management for patients and caregivers. So we, this is a nine module course and we are starting module three now. So who is this course for? For patients, caregivers and family members. And the course format is online video lessons and downloadable guides and for those attending the live workshop you'll be able to have live q a um, there will be an assessment at the end of the course self-assessment quizzes and practical tools for daily use the course objective is to empower patients and caregivers to safely manage medications improve understanding of medication use and adherence, build skills to prevent medication errors and manage side effects, and also to promote the active participation in healthcare decisions. So by the time you complete the nine modules, we want you to be able to achieve all these objectives. So what did we learn in module two? We learned the types of medications and what they do, an overview of prescription medications, understanding over-the-counter medications and when to use them, herbal remedies and supplements, do they work, are they safe, and how to read medication labels. So today, module three, organizing your medications. And what are the learning outcomes for today's um, training, we want you to be able to create an effective system for managing multiple medications. Learn practical tips for organizing and storing medications safely. And then the four topics we'll be going over is how to use the medication list to keep track of all your medications, pill organizers, apps, and reminders to for staying on track, safe storage of medications. Are you going to be using safety caps? The only people who are allowed to use just the regular caps that are not safety caps are people who know that they do not have children in the home. And then also when you are keeping your medication, once they've been dispensed into your bottle, they are good for one year except if the pharmacist writes a different expiration date on your bottle. And then how to properly dispose of old and unused medications. That's a question we get asked. So how to use a medication list. Now, for those of you who have joined the school community, I would have given you a link to create your medication profile. In this profile, after you've put, you put your name, your health conditions, your age, maybe the year you were born, say your gender, you say whatever health conditions you have, whatever allergies you have, and then you also put all the medications you use. So the medication name, as it's written on your bottle, just type it in, it will come up. The dose, are you taking it twice a day? Are you taking it once a day? How many do you take a day? Is it in the morning? Is it in the evening? When they say take medication in the morning, there's a reason. When they say take it in the evening, there's a, there is a reason. And they say take it with food. So all those things are important. Or take it before a meal. So then keep this medication list up to date and bring it to the doctor's appointments. Now, for those of you who are good with your phone apps, it's on your app, it's on your phone. So when you're going to the doctor's office, let it be ready so that when you get to the doctor's office, and I'm hoping that this is something that everybody will adopt. You go to the doctor's office, you already have all your medications in the list. When the doctor wants to add a new medication, it will help the doctor to see all your medications and when he adds a new one, he can see if there's any interaction before he sends the prescription over to the pharmacy. 
And if he sees an interaction and still wants it used, if he thinks the benefits outweigh the risk, then he'll be able to write a note in the prescription telling the pharmacist that, yes, I know there's an interaction, but I'm monitoring this patient and I still want the patient to use it. So that the pharmacist doesn't need to now reach out back to the doctor and say, oh, do you know that there's an interaction? Because the doctor would have already seen it and put a note to the pharmacist. So the patient will not have to be delayed while the pharmacist is cross-checking and, you know, double-checking with the doctor. This is something that occurs all the time. We get a prescription. We see, we are not sure if the doctor knows that there's an interaction. Or we are not sure if the doctor has stopped an older prescription. Then we have to reach out. But when you go to the doctor's office with this list, with this medication list, the doctor will be able to tell us everything, tell us what he knows, and tell us this is what he's doing. He's stopping this. He's adding this. He's aware of this interaction, things like that. So it's very important for every patient to have a medication list so that it will be good for you and also be good for the doctor. So keep it up to date and bring it to the doctor's appointments. For those of you who are not that good with your phone, always make sure somebody prints it out for you and take the printout with you to the doctor's appointments. I cannot overemphasize this. This is very important. And this is a habit that everybody has to adopt. The doctors, the patients, everybody has to know because there's just too many um, adverse events that are taking place and we just want to find a way to help our patients so that they do not fall victims to these um, adverse events. Now, and as I told you, what are the benefits of having a medication list? It helps you to avoid mistakes and keeps the healthcare providers informed. So the doctor is informed, the pharmacist is informed, the prescribers are informed, and you, the patient, are kept healthy. So pill organizers, apps, and reminders. Now, if you go into a pharmacy, most pharmacies will have these pill organizers. It, it you can do a week at a time, you can do a month at a time, and then there are a lot of apps that you can use that will remind you, but the pill organizers are extremely good because if you put something for Monday and it's no longer in there, you know that you've taken it. So that the, the case of forgetting and taking your medication twice in the same day doesn't happen when you have a pill organizer. So they are very cheap. Most pharmacies have them very cheap. So everyone who takes you know, long-term medication, it's good to have a pill organizer so that you don't um, mistakenly skip a day or mistakenly double up on some days. And then if you find an app, there are some apps, I will look for apps to share with you um, that will remind you. Some, you can also set an alarm on your clock or your, or your phone to remind you of the doses. Also refills. If you are filling your prescription every month or every three months, it's always good to have a reminder. Give yourself, if it's something you take every month, give yourself at least three or four days. Don't wait until you are, you are on your last pill. When you are running low, like three or four days or even a week to the refill time, call the pharmacy and request for a refill and they will send it out as soon as it's time. The reason you do this is in case the pharmacy doesn't have your medication in stock, they'll have enough time to order the medication and get it, get it in. Or if you run out of your fills, of refills, they'll be able to contact your doctor and get um, a new prescription for you. If you get your medications every three months, call the pharmacy at least a week before you run out so that they can get enough medication 
in-house and so that when it's time to refill your prescription you'll be able to get it safe storage of medications medications are always supposed to be stored in a cool dry place away from children a lot of children you know sometimes they see some of these medications that are brightly colored they think they are candy and they can be very they can be very dangerous even your iron tablets can be extremely dangerous for children so keep them in a cool dry place away from children it's good to put them in a place where the children cannot get to and if you have pets too keep them away from where pets can get to because pets can you know even crush the pill bottles so keep them away from where children or pets can get to now keep the medications in the original containers if what i noticed some people will do is when they have a new prescription they add the new prescription to the old bottle maybe they still have a few tablets left in the old bottle and then they add them together no you shouldn't do that finish the older one before you start the new medication don't mix your old and new medications in one container finish the old one then start on the new one and then discard old medications if they are ex i said that before if they are expired discard them and i'll tell you how to do that so how do you properly dispose of old or unused medications now in different um, townships they have um, drug take back programs sometimes the police department has these programs any medication it doesn't have to be um, controlled any medication if you are no longer using it or if it's expired you should whenever there's a um, drug take back program you should take it there if there's none call your township ask them how to dispose of your medication because each township might have a different way they do it but what we usually tell people is that you mix it with cat litter or coffee grounds so don't flush it into the toilet take the medications pour it out of the bottle the prescription bottle and mix it with coffee grounds or cat litter and you can now throw it in the trash and just tie it in a bag and throw it in the trash but do not flush it down the toilet or down the drain and so that is the conclusion for um, module three and we'll be going to module four if this was the live this is the time for question and answers but for those of you listening to the recording um, you can send your questions in at the school community school.com slash my web pharmacist and you can send me a direct message there so in module four what are we going to be talking about in module four we're going to be talking about medication adherence taking medications the right way and the learning outcomes understand the importance of taking medications as prescribed identify common barriers to adherence and learn how to overcome them and the four topics we'll be dealing with is why it's important to take medications on time and as directed what happens if you miss a dose or stop a medication too soon overcoming common barriers forgetfulness cost and side effects tips for caregivers supporting a loved one's medication routine so that is what we are going to be doing in module four so we hope to see you in module four and sign up for um, the community at school.com slash my web pharmacist and there you will find this and other um, courses and videos to learn from and for those of you who sign up you are going to get um, a free link to help you set up your medication profile immediately and you 
we are there for you to send us direct message um, questions and if there's anything you want us to customize for you you just let us know thank you for listening bye